had the opportunity to meet your daughter. She seems like one of the sweetest little little ladies I've, people I've ever met. How do you foster that same joy? All right, she seemed like such a sweet, open, just as open-hearted and minded person and kiddo I've ever met. How do you foster that same attitude in somebody so young? What did you do? Well, we just use a lot of humor. <laughs> I tell her, you know, everybody's got something. And being, I mean, she lost her vision because of her tumor. So she's blind. And it's hard. It's so hard being a seventh grader that's blind and different from your friends and that can't see what the trends are and can't, you know, there's so many things she can't do, but there's so many things she can do. And I was telling her the other day that someday when she's older, she's going to come to conference when she's not in school, she'll come to conference and she'll probably help run the pro shop and she can use the scanner and check people out and run the cash register. And she's like, I can do that. I'm like, yeah, it has voiceover technology. You can do that. She's like, I can do that. She's like, maybe people will be surprised I can do that. I'm like, they probably will be, but you know what? You'll show them you can do that. So it's just <laughs> finding the technology, finding the will. Everybody's got something. I meet women mm -hmm. every day that have some tragedy or some fear or some, some mountain that they're overcoming. And, and that's just mine, <laughs> you know, that's ours. And so, um, with Kiara, we laugh a lot. We we laugh inappropriately about blindness and cancer. <laughs> and, cancer. and um, you know, we always giggle that if we're going to commit a crime, she's going to be on lookout. And she's always <laughs> like, you know, I'll be like, oh man, I forgot to go to Lowe's. And my son's like, let's just break in. And Kiara's like, I'll be on lookout. She's like, I'll be like, get up, get up. you know. So we just have really inappropriate jokes about blindness. <laughs> but it's actually made her, um, I think, stronger and more confident too as a, a woman, I want her to know she is her own per self defender. The sexual assault rate of blind females is just staggering. It's like 90%. Mm -hmm. It's insane. And so I want her to know that she is worth defending, that she can protect herself. It's a mindset really for her that you are going to fight to the finish, um, that, that you're not, uh, you're not less, you're not disabled, you're not a victim. And so really it's instilling that mindset in her. And she's so amazing. I posted on Facebook. I don't know if y'all saw the post, but she's a cheerleader at her school. Uh, mm -hmm. She's in her middle, middle school and she's a cheerleader. And there was some drama and the other seventh grade cheerleaders didn't want to cheer. And so she said, she goes, well, I didn't see a sign that said no cheering. So she went out there. <laughs> She goes, I don't see a sign that says no cheering. So she and another girl went out and started cheering and they did their thing. And I was just so proud of her because I'm like, you know, no one's going to hold you back, you know? Yeah. Let's go, go so, do it. 